What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Keese, and I'm back with another reaction video. Man, today we got Donovan Mitchell speaks on what college life was like with Lamar Jackson at Louisville. Louisville. How Chuck uh, said. Louisville. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, man. Turn on them post notifications, man. Make sure you sub right now. We got to get our subs up. Got to get a thousand subs soon, bro. So run it up, man. Log in with your boy, bro. Support me, man. Watch this all the way through so we can get to 4,000 watch hours. We 200 hours away, man. So I got to keep grinding, but I also need y'all to log in with me, man. But yeah, let's get into this video. Lamar wasn't Lamar. He wasn't used the backup. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even a starting quarterback uh, at Louisville. And uh, I forgot the guy's name is Kyle something um, from Louisville, and I never forget it. He threw it got he either gets hurt, or throws an interception, uh, and the next thing you know, Mark come in, and he had a you know you know when the, uh, we're getting I think we're losing or something like that. He comes in, he's doing well, but like you could tell he's making some throws where he's like he's a freshman he's trying to figure yeah. it out. You're like, oh, yeah, and he's like, all right, like okay, and the next thing you know, he takes his spot in sophomore year, and I want to say it was that year he won the Heisman like like that. Like, he's doing shit. Like, he's jumping over people. He doing shit. I'm like, yo. <laughs> like, we are, like, games at 1 o'clock. He got the basketball team up at 6 a.m. tailgame with the with the students. Because we like, this shit finna be a show. You're yeah. right, Bro, I would have loved to watch him at co in college. Oh, my gosh. He was getting freaky. He was going crazy, bro. Like, getting, he was super shifty, fast as crap. Doing people dirty, throwing, running. He was getting active, bro. If I was on a basketball team, <laughs> fuck basketball. I'm trying to go watch Lamar. I know this joint gonna be lit, super lit, parties yeah, yeah, lit. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be seeing. Yeah, I be. I be. I ain't done it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it rolling kegs. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't done that shit in eight years. I was like, man, I gotta do something. I got to. That, that was fun. I had a good time. Shout out to everybody in the video. Hey, that's lit, bro. I ain't never seen that game before. They rolling a keg into pins. Like, how do you lose that? How do you lose that, bro? Unless you just totally missed the pins. <laughs> But yeah, so then even we was, it's funny, we was having dunk contests my freshman year in the gym. Like me, Lamar, some of the guys on the team, uh, Louisville's team and, and the mm -hmm. football team. And he was out here windmilling, like throwing it off the wall, like, <laughs> like crazy. But then I always say, he left school now, so it's irrelevant. But like, <laughs> bro, he just is one of them freakish athletes, bro. We all had one at our high school, college. Well, you just a freak athlete, bro. God-given ability. He can do whatever. I can jump. I can play football. I can play basketball. I can jump out the gym and dunk crazy. Like, he's just one of them ones, bro. One-on-one -on -one talent and athlete, bro. Freakish athlete. <laughs> My first year, we was in every class together. We was every class. Always in class. Next thing you know, every assignment for him was off online. Online. <laughs> Like For sure. Yeah, it's like they knew, like, all right, bet, like, you know, shit is I'm over here. We over here, like, fuck he at? Like, you, know, like, you see him every every Saturday. Shit is thing. I'm like, all right, like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, every class was online after that. They got the equipment manager picking up the fucking <laughs> syllabus and shit. Like, yeah, I ain't seen Mar on campus at that. I got this. That. I was like, hey, do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> My man getting that presidential treatment. That's what happened when you the, you him, not Jim. You hear me? When you that guy, there's a lot of exceptions that start happening. You feel me? Uh, online classes. Uh, yeah, don't even worry about it, Lamar. We're just going to email you all your assignments. We're going to uh, mail it to your home. Matter of fact, no. Um, the teacher system is just going to drop it off to your dorm, to your door, like to your house. Don't even worry about it. The tutor will just take care of it for you. You feel me? He probably wasn't doing no work. No work. No dog too, but yeah. we all saying that. We like our our AD our academic dude getting us to not be in class. I'm like, man. And then he goes, Man, you see what the fuck he doing? You do that every fucking night. Then you I gotta go to class. So I'm like, all right, cool. uh, I get it. I get sacked in the backfield. Like you know what I'm saying? Like true. <laughs> the fans see you at a lot of Mets games. My Yankees Mets. Like what's the correlation with the Mets? What is your correlation here in New York? Because a lot of people 
in New York. There's question in that, yo. Why are you going to the Mets games and not the Yankees game? Like, yeah, I'm um, my whole life. Um, I grew up. My dad played for the Astros for about six, seven years. I want to say, and then he got uh, released, and then that next day, he got called from the Mets like that. Um, so that he was a free agent, I would say, for one day. Um, then he retired, started working with the Mets organization. I don't know, remember when. Probably a few years before I was born, or right when I was born around that time. And I grew up in the locker room. Like, I'm growing up, it's David Wright, it's Jose Reyes, you know. Uh, it was even before that, the game. Yeah, even before that, it was, like, when I was eight to nine, it was those guys. Even before that, it was Mike Piazza, it was you know, Ventura, it was, you know, all them, all them guys. And so for me, like, that's all I knew growing up. I knew Shea Stadium. You know, I mean, I knew the minor league guys, so those guys I named, like the Jose's, the David Rice, the guys that were groomed up. Like, one I got watched all the time was Jacob DeGrom. Mm -hmm. That's all I seen as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I watched them at the minor league level before they became who they were. And the next thing you know, they out here. You jumped in Binghamton? Yeah. Binghamton, we were in. We were in Watching the Rumble Ponies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They were just the Binghamton Mets back then. You know what's crazy is? His father was an MLB player. He had that bread, I'm sure, bro. Right? He probably paid him in training while he was young. Like, when your folks got bread and they can put you with the trainers and AU, like, you destined to be great, bro. And he is a tough player. He can hoop. He's really good. Really good player. Spider Mitchell is like that, bro. So it's just like, and it's like genetics. When your dad is a, a pro athlete, I mean, like, you got the same genes. You probably going to be... Be able to be a pro athlete too with the hard work. What's your name? So, oh, like Binghamton. Yeah, I've been to Binghamton, um, Norfolk, uh, Virginia, mm -hmm. um, Kingsport, Tennessee, Savannah, Georgia. Um, I'm trying to think of where else I've been. Um, I've been in Nicaragua. Uh, when they like a stand-up comedy tour. So you know, know, real baseball. Real baseball. Like you, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, ain't um, no. That was basketball. All this was. I tell people this all the time. This wasn't the plan. That's a fact. This, this, <laughs> baseball was my first love, man. Like my first love. Like my first, first love. I'm like baseball. Mm -hmm. First baseman. That's what I played. That's it. My first love was football. But I had bad headaches, man. I used to get bad he headaches and migraines from wearing a helmet and just period. I probably had concussions and I just didn't know because we didn't know about that back then. But, um... Yeah, bro. Football was my number one sport. I didn't even like playing basketball. I only wanted to play football until I, twelve. Uh, no, when I was eleven years old, I started playing basketball, and it went from there, bro. Eleven years old, I started playing basketball, and then yeah, it. I fell in love at first. I wasn't that good. I didn't really care about basketball like that. I just did it to stay active. But I was competitive, so I love. I, I got to be good at everything. So I was still playing all the years I was playing football. I was playing basketball, too, in Pop Warner um, in D.C. So once I got to, like, I would say eighth grade, I started taking it more serious than ninth grade. I really loved basketball. That was my sport. I found my sport. That was basketball. And then it became base, then baseball, the love for baseball. I played varsity baseball 11th and 12th grade year. And that was my first two years ever playing baseball. But I was just, a, I'm an athlete, bro. Played soccer when I was young too, man. Like, but it was like, like, like to your point, I mean, we can relate because basketball wasn't, like, I liked it. Right. I didn't love it. The but you were love. nice, though, in high school, though. You were like, no, talking age. about even oh, before, before that. Before yeah, that. Like, I'm okay. talking about I'm eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm baseball. Mm -hmm. it wasn't, yeah. I played basketball, but it was more baseball. But you know what's crazy? Like, y'all saying that coaching kids that age, like coaching a nine-year team that, I, that I, I coach, getting kids to lock in in baseball at that age is hard as fuck, so, bro, because yeah. it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, you got to really be disciplined, be, and really love that shit, because... We played the little school league, like, you know what I mean? Little bad kids and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> all the project schools and all that. So, the, you know, the baseball facts. games used to be a lot different, facts. So, how did, how did basketball happen? Because you, like... you. I'm going to speak on that. I coached T-ball um, for a team in D.C., the same team I coached football with, right? Bro, T-ball is a challenge. You got to keep them... 
entertain and keep them focused, keep their attention, it's hard when you got seven-year-olds, six-year-olds, and five-year-olds, bro. They be all over the place. But we get it done, man. We won some games. We was actually better than like a lot of the teams we played because we actually practiced and actually worked on fielding the ball, batting that practice, all that, bro. It sounds like your path is to Donovan yeah. Mitchell, second baseman. For, you exactly know what I mean? Like, because growing up in baseball, your pops being a former pro, working in the front office, that seems like the yo. Like, here's the here's the path. Yeah, for to, sure, to, to, it's a blueprint all the way up into my sophomore year of high school. To the point where I'm like, spring break, all my friends go on vacation. I'm going to spring training. Like, I'm I'm Oliver Perez, Pedro Martinez. Those guys are doing batting practice, and I'm sitting there just. Watching, getting ready for my season until my sophomore year of high school, uh, I broke my my wrist, and um, one day I was just like, I want to just play basketball, see what that looks like. You know, what I mean, I didn't really have that many offers. I probably had Providence and Iowa at the time, and then after that, it was just like took off. So next thing I had twenty six offers uh, mm. in that next year, but it was all it was all baseball, man. Like. Nah, stop. Like, basketball was, like I said, you was, you was nice in high school. I was trash. Like, I was like, man, basketball's cool. I played at Riverside growing up, yeah. Riverside Church. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you know, for me, um, I'm running around. My mom's running me around, doing all these different things, you know. So I'm just like, man. And staying on that topic, like, going back to basketball a little bit. In high school, you wasn't like that. You know, people probably didn't believe in you. You probably didn't believe in yourself. So like, you had this period of, of saying fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. What was the switch? And I'm, I'm what was I'm asking this for a very specific mm-hmm. reason. But what was the what was the switch? And when was the switch? When you was in high school? That sophomore year, that was when I was like, fuck, it, I'm gonna play basketball. And once I got from two offers to 26, I never forget the University of Florida offered me a scholarship. I was in Connecticut at the time, walking into the apartment that we lived in, and that coach, um, Rashawn Burnham. I think he's at NIU now. He's the mm-hmm. head coach. Yeah. He told me, he said, when you get this offer, your life, like your college, like experience is going to change. You're going to get all these schools calling it. And when they offered me, it was in like a week. It was like school after school after school. And then on top of that, we had like Bayheim in the gym. Mm-hmm. And you remember uh, Chris McCullough? Absolutely. He was on my team. Cheers. Like, yeah. So he was there. So we had Bayheim in the gym. We had Tony Bennett. We had Roy Williams. We had Calhoun. So that's who all came to see me. And even though they, I wasn't like, to go into their school, like they just would word of mouth, you know, and she goes to like watching and watching and next thing you know, I'm um I'm like, man, like all right, like I I like it. Like and I was still I wasn't in my eyes I wasn't good. Like I still couldn't shoot, I couldn't really do anything offensive, but I could guard, I could jump. Those were the two things I got. So next thing you know, Louisville's watching me, um, uh, and we I, I had one summer where it just like took off and like I started to round myself out as a basketball player and that's when I was like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. This was a tough video, man. They cover a lot of good stuff, bro. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Shout out Donovan Mitchell. Shout out uh, Lamar Jackson. Shout out Carmelo. Man, this was a cool little podcast clip. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, man, like, comment, subscribe, bro. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you watched it all the way through. If you did, man, shout out to you, bro. Lock in with your boy, man. I I, I gotta grind. I gotta keep grinding. Gotta keep going, bro. Until I, I I'm gonna reach my goal, and then I still keep going. It's a marathon. It never ends, bro. It never end. Never gonna end. You gotta keep working until you just can't no more. You feel me? That's how you make it. You just gotta grind hard, and that's what I'm gonna do, bro. But yeah, if you've been locked in with me, man, and you subscribe. I appreciate it. Comment what y'all want me to react to next, and I'm going to do that, man. I need some ideas on stuff y'all want to watch. Because, I I mean, I got to do some different stuff, bro. Would y'all want me, like, can I, would y'all watch if I do some boxing stuff, some fighting stuff, some football stuff? Like, I like all type of sports, so I might start switching it up. And not just doing only basketball, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, bro. Um... Yeah, I'm about to get out of here, y'all. Y'all be smooth, man. Peace.